Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking, and I have to apologize for the bad lighting. I should have probably made this part of the video when there was natural light, but the only reason I'm even making this part of the video uh, as a little intro is because I went up to the shooting range today and I didn't talk to the camera uh, because there's other shooters around me and I thought it'd be, you know, it wouldn't make sense to try to talk. I should have though to give it some structure. So that's why I'm going to film this intro. I'm going to try to keep it as quick and brief as possible just to give you guys some structure and tell you guys what I was doing. And then I'll show you guys uh, the, the rest of the video is going to be uh, the footage of hitting out to a thousand yards. So as the title suggests, it's about a thousand yards made easy. Because if you guys know me, this is a new hobby for me. I'm very novice. This is the only second time um, I've shot beyond 300 yards. The first time was to qualify at Best of the West here in Liberty Hill to be able to shoot to a thousand yards. And I didn't record that, so I just shot, qualified, and left. This was the second time, and I actually took my time out there. So this video is of me shooting three different factory uh, uh, ammunition. This is American Whitetail, 129 grain. We have some uh, Hornady Black, 140 grain Botel hollow points, and 143 grain uh, Hornady uh, ELD X, some Precision Hunter. Now, uh, these are some factory loads, and you guys were making fun of me for shooting some of this stuff earlier on my first couple of videos with the Ruger Precision Rifle. The reason I got some of this ammunition was just to get me going, just to shoot some 6.5, because I got this at a store, and this is the only 6.5 ammunition they sold at that time. And that's about a dollar a shot, if I remember correctly. So that's fun ammunition just to get going. Um, but then what's also a dollar a shot, to my surprise, and that's why I won't be buying any more of that 129 grain for what I'm trying to do, the 140 grain Botel Hall Point for about a dollar a shot as well, same price, and uh, I was able to ring steel at a thousand yards with Fair, fairly amount of ease with like wind up to you know 15 20 mile an hour gusts as you'll be able to hear in the video 143 I'm sorry 140 grain boat to a hollow point for about a dollar shot um, and then above that a dollar 75 a shot give or take for this ELDX 143 this one needless needless to say did the best but at a dollar 75 a shot I'd rather just miss another one and be able to shoot twice uh, maybe not anyway I'll consider but uh, yeah, so that's three different uh, loads that I was shooting today, and I wish this video had more structure. From what I remember, when I hit a certain target, I'll put that in the in the little text on the bottom. I'll tell you guys the range and all the and the ammunition, anything I remember from that, um, and so you guys can you know make uh, your own calls with that. But with that said, uh, this is the first video. I know it's not the most structured, but I just wanted to put a video out there shooting the Ruger Precision Rifle 6.5 Creedmoor more than 300 yards for once. And uh, there's definitely going to be more videos in the very near future, and I promise they won't be as crappy as this one. Uh, they'll have more structure to them. But anyway, with that said, hope I didn't go on too long. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video.
shoot for this for the center again. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Put you dead center. Close to it. Shooter ready. Alright, ready. Spotter ready. Give me two more. 